Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate a few interesting things about engine vacuum. Uh, this is as a result of a, an internet forum thread that I have been active on uh, recently. The first thing that I'm going to demonstrate is how much vacuum is generated during engine cranking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the 12 volt supply to the coil, which I have just done there removing that plug so now the engine will crank but it's not going to start so this is what it looks like so we can see that on my gauge no measurable vacuum um, was was generated so now i'm reconnecting the 12 volt to the coil so now the engine will start and immediately you will see uh, how much vacuum is generated as it's idling. Okay, so now you can see that it's generating almost minus 50 kPa and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the permanent vacuum that I have on my car's vacuum advance. I've got permanent manifold vacuum and I'm now removing the vacuum supply to the vacuum advance. I also plugged it otherwise I lose vacuum. That's open, that's closed. That's open, that's closed. But you can hear the engine speed dropped. If I reconnect vacuum You can hear the engine sounds a little bit happier. I'm disconnecting again. You can hear the engine speed dropped. That's because the timing is now more retarded. If I reconnect, engine sounds happier. The last thing I want to demonstrate is how the vacuum in the engine almost drops to zero with a relatively small amount of throttle input. Now, I'm going to try and use only about one third of the full throttle, which is about that much. And you can see that the vacuum drops pretty much to zero. So, a small amount of throttle input just about puts the engine into a full throttle situation. And now I'm going to apply full throttle, literally full throttle and there you could see it was pegged at zero but a small amount of throttle gets us very close to very close to full manifold uh, or rather full atmospheric pressure There we go.